good morning guys and welcome to this week's vlog i hope you're all doing really well so i'm just in the car this morning it's currently 9 22 and i'm off to harrods as they are doing a pop-up with bulgari it's to celebrate 75 years of serpent tea which is a collection that bulgari do of the beautiful snake i'm really excited and i feel very honored to have been invited to this event so it's a quick preview of the collection that is exclusive to Harrods. I've had a little sneak peek already and it looks beautiful. I'm also gonna do a quick 15, 20 minute shoot with some of the pieces. I'm a tiny bit nervous because I haven't really done anything like this before, but I'm very excited and like I said, very honored. I actually have already made this journey because I thought this was yesterday and I never get my days mixed up, so I do not know what happened. Well, I do, I think I got back from Sicily and I was a bit like discombobulated and yeah, I really at Harrods and I was like how on earth do I get in and where is everybody because it was tomorrow so that was very embarrassing I'm actually vlogging before I've even put the last video live which is the pack with me for Sicily when it comes to editing on YouTube I'm a one-man band and I think to be honest what I need to do is just make a big backlog of videos so I'm never out but it's just a constant chasing my tail kind of thing but yeah I missed last Sunday's upload which I'm a bit annoyed about and I'm sorry about that guys but I also hate rushing my edits I didn't want to rush it to put it out on Sunday so yeah if you've watched that video you will know I went to a uh, three-day wedding in Sicily and honestly it was the most incredible wedding I would say I've ever been to but this is my first ever wedding as an adult but wow it set the bar so high oh I just want to think is that a parking space down there see all of the details that all on my Instagram I've saved them in a Sicily highlight but it was just three very solid days of socializing partying and everything in between by the last day I was socially exhausted I'm definitely an introverted person which means I need to recharge my social batteries like in between um in between interactions otherwise I just What's this person doing? Thank you. As I was saying, yeah, the last day I turned to my boyfriend, I was like, I'm gonna just have to go sit on my own on the beach for a bit. I don't think I can physically do any more socializing. And he was like, Kate, no, you can't, that's really weird. I literally sat in the bathrooms for just like 15 minutes just to gather my thoughts and get ready to go again. My little Givenchy Horizon bag. And I've got this like two piece gray suit on from Rose Paris. Right, I'm gonna stop faffing because I don't wanna. So I thought I'd do a voiceover because I didn't really get to vlog any of this as it was very, very rushed. But here we are shooting the exclusive Bulgari Harrods collection. It feels very Harrods with the bright golds, the greens, the diamonds. It is absolutely stunning. I really love the Serpentine watch. It's very flattering on the wrists and it just feels really snug. Never really a watch that I had previously considered, but I absolutely love it. It's very elegant. And here is how the images turned out. I was doing all of these different poses. I'm used to being very basic when it comes to photography, but I actually really like how they came out. Let me know what you guys think. Good evening, guys. I'm feeling so groggy. So I finished the shoot with Bulgari. I'm really excited to see the images. They're so not my normal style. They are uh, very editorial. I think it's good to mix things up sometimes. This was this morning and it's now, I think it's about eight o'clock in the evening. I've just been working all day. I feel so groggy. I've eaten so, such rubbish food today. I mean, I don't think there's such thing as good food and bad food. There's just food, but there's definitely food that makes me feel good and food that makes me feel sluggish. And I've eaten sluggish food today. Fresh, Elemis cleansing bomb, very excited. And then yeah, at about six o'clock after I finished work for the day, I was like, I'm gonna have a nap because I haven't caught up on sleep yet from um, Sicily. And I've just been really feeling the effects of it. So I had a nap and now I just feel kind of like, well, so yeah, I'm going to do my skincare and then make myself some nice dinner that's going to make me feel good. Bee just got home. I feel like Bee hasn't been in the vlog in ages because she's been away. I'm going to try the new Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Micro Serum. I'm so excited about this. I love new skincare. I was going to wait until I finished like my other serums. I've got like a Radio London one on the go. Oh, and my Costa Brazil one. I thought I was just too impatient. Okay. It feels really nice. I feel like with serums, these are the kind of things that you notice over like a week of using them. They're not like so much 
instant results like you would have with moisturizer and cleanser and this is their marine cream i mentioned this in my last video but in the rose scent so this is definitely going to be swapped for my old marine cream i love the old marine cream for the way it makes my skin feel but it doesn't really smell like much and rose just is such a beautiful feminine smell that makes me feel good okay isn't it crazy i feel a million times better now okay amazing good morning guys from me and me hello we are on the way to kingston hospital to get my colposcopy Colpos Colos coloscopy Colos I don't really know. Coloscopy. Coloscopy. Um, I obviously mentioned in a previous video that I had my smear test and the results came back abnormal. And apparently this is really common. It's um, nothing to be worried about. I've had honestly like hundreds of messages from you girls as well, which has really, really reassured me telling me about your experiences. So thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Um, I've also had a message from a nurse saying she had a couple of patients come in because of um, my stories and my YouTube, so that made me so happy. That is because, so cute. Oh, it's so nice. I'm so glad she told me. Yeah. I love getting messages like that. I really smiled when I read your story. Oh. So yeah, I went in the first time to get it done. Um, I rang them up in the morning and I was like, I'm on my period, is it okay to still come? And they were like, yeah, yeah, that's fine, no worries. Uh, so I went with my boyfriend and basically you sit on this chair with your legs spread wide open i was like i felt really um exposed because you're behind a curtain and then they come over so i just put like my legs on one side just while they were coming in because it just felt a bit weird and um so i had my legs crossed on one side and they the nurse came in and she burst out laughing she was like i've never seen anyone do that before i'm going in for the second time now to get it done and what they do is they basically put a very detailed camera up you and um, have a little look around, I guess. And if they need to get a biopsy, they get a biopsy. That's the bit I'm a little bit scared about. Um, oh, and you take some paracetamol, don't I? Yeah. So yeah, I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog when I'm there, but if I can show you anything, I will. Um, and I'll see you guys in a bit. We are finished. Oh, sorry, Bill. We are all finished. And B and I's relationship has just got that little bit closer. B has now seen right up inside me and it was so interesting though oh, it was yeah and how often do you get to see inside your vagina that's true i mean how often do you get to see inside your best friend's vagina well yeah um true. but yeah you see everything on a big screen and um b and i were saying we had no idea that there's like a wall at the back and then there's like a little like i don't know if this is a bit graphic for youtube no it's not it's informative I, my mind's been blown so i thought when you inside a vagina i just thought it never stopped i just thought it was like a black hole yeah so did i and up to your like uterus or your womb or i just whatever. thought i don't know i just thought it just it kept going and then i don't know obviously that's really stupid now i think about it because your guts could fall out and stuff like that well clearly <laughs> didn't li listen in sexual health um that's I went to a Catholic school so I didn't oh. go to them. A wall at the back with the tight, the smallest slit you've ever like seen. Like a grain of rice. Smaller. Yeah. And that's where... The baby comes from. Your baby, period, everything. So nothing actually goes past that point. It just comes out. It's crazy. And so they were looking at this little thing and like the cells around it. So they put like iodine on it and it doesn't hurt. It's uncomfortable though and i felt very queasy looking at it because it's quite i was just looking at it and the whole time i was thinking i was like how on earth is a baby supposed to come out of that yeah but she did say it dilates 10 centimeters i know but still oh, it makes me feel really funny it kind of makes me get a bit sweaty really um, yeah Yeah, but I have to come back in a year, do it again, because there are slightly abnormal cells there, so it's just something to keep an eye on. But a very informative and educational experience. It was. Now I'm going to take B to her doctor, yes. um, because B's foot is, um, we think it could potentially be broken. But well, I don't think it's broken, but I, but I went to the doctor and they said I had torn a tendon, but it, it's now swollen and hot. Hello, my loves. I am in 
robe. So a very different setup to when I last spoke to you. Can you hear this classical music? Should I turn it down? So I'm in Rome. I'm here with Elizabeth Arden on a three day press trip. I'm so happy to be here. I love the team at Elizabeth Arden, but also I just love their products. For example, the eight hour cream is just something I will never be without. And I have never been without since I was a child because my mum used to use it on me all the time. Um, it's just one of those like heritage, nostalgic brands for me that I just love. So I'm so happy to be here. And I'm happy that I'm taking you guys along with me to show you what we're up to in Rome. I've never been to Rome before. So I'm really looking forward to exploring the city, seeing what we get up to. I think we've got some really nice things planned. I can't stop looking at myself in the viewfinder because I feel like I look rather rough. So I'm gonna have a shower and then we can catch up in a bit. Before I get in the shower, I have to give you guys a room tour. It is all decked out in Soho House, obviously, Soho Home. And it's just such a beautiful, is my camera dirty? And it is just such a beautiful room. Look how grand this bed is. And um, I've got this lovely little Chow Bella clutch on my bed, and this is the itinerary. I've got a little balcony as well, which is very cute, it has this lovely, little view here oh and here is my airport outfit uh set from because of alice i showed you in my last video i think it was um but i didn't actually get to wear it but oh my god it's so stunning it's just so soft and so chic i love it anyway i need to get in the shower because oh my goodness it was so hot on the way here i think it's like 39 degrees in rome at the moment guys a super quick outfit of the evening this is the highest slit ever and it's slightly making me uncomfortable but it's what i have the dress code was a touch of red so that's what i've gone for this is from meshki i need to go because i'm in a massive rush so we went to this roman restaurant called antica pesa it's a michelin star fine dining restaurant and it's in this beautiful walled garden the vibes were so good and the food was just as amazing we both vlogging we do g7x g7x2 same as me we've all got the same cameras <laughs> Dinner. I'm sitting next to the lovely flow and the lovely gorgeous all in um, our red ensemble. Oh, what is it? Behind the scenes oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. of an influencer and now, event. Oh, where's record? Sorry, darling. Is the red button on? Yeah, it's recording, yeah. How do you. No, I'm going to miss it. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know this camera. Wow. <laughs> Make a wish. It looks like Oh, it does. I think it's ice cream. It's so bright. There we go. I started to arrive and it is fit for the money. Lots of veggies. It's so cute. Yes, yeah, a little pot. So cute. Oh, look at my starter. So I've ordered my first ever capture pepe. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, I've never had it before and I don't know why. And apparently, according to Liv, the Roma is the best place to get it. So it's fine. Here is how it's looking. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. I was worried because I don't like pepper. This is better. But it's really nice. On to the final course, which is dessert. Wait, let me. Good morning, guys. I'm up. I'm feeling really tired. Um, but I've just ordered some room service. Let me show you what I've got. I've got all of these yummy berries with granola and yogurt and i also ordered a latte as well to try help me wake me up a little bit okay so i have my latte and i'm gonna do my makeup i can't understand people who wake up in the morning and they're not puffy like my face is so puffy in the morning it's so annoying i actually asked for some ice to be delivered to the room where's my spf I didn't arrive because I normally like to ice my face, which helps a lot. Dinner last night was so nice. And guys, my first, oh, I'm going to say it wrong again. Cacia Pepe. <laughs> it was so lovely. I didn't think I'd like it because I don't like pepper. I thought it was quite plain, but it was so, so delicious. I now always put sun cream on the back of my hands as well. Because the last thing I want to get is sunspots on my hands. When it's like really, really hot and um, humid and 
sticky. I like to wear the Elizabeth Arden, no, not Elizabeth Arden, the Estee Lauder double wear foundation just because it really sticks to your face. But yeah, as I mentioned, we're here with Elizabeth Arden to celebrate their eight hour range. And so obviously there's the iconic eight hour cream in there, but they also have so many other wonderful products that I'm gonna show you guys today. One of them being the body oil that I put all over my body last night. I filmed a TikTok getting ready. Hopefully I can upload it. I don't know if I'm gonna like it though, but if I do, you'll see it there. I'll upload it to shorts as well in case you don't have TikTok. They have like a face mist, they have an SPF, they have uh, like a lip balm. They've got so many amazing products in the range. Oh, and they also have this night cream, which I used last night for the first time. It is incredible. My skin feels so soft and plump today. So yeah, I think that might be a new favorite. This Dior concealer is just amazing. It's just completely gotten rid of my dark circles so easily. Oh, I love it. Okay, do you know what? I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse because I know I'm gonna run late if I chat away and don't concentrate on my makeup. So. favorite charlotte tilbury iconic nude and i didn't realize how reliant i was on that lip liner because i tried all my other ones and they just didn't compare so i literally ran to battersea power station to the mac and got this one in the shade cork is it cork no it's not it's in the shade strip strip down and it's quite similar to iconic nude but maybe a little bit more pink and then i'm just going to go in with my dior gloss in 001. I've just spritzed myself with this product here. This is the Eight Hour Miracle Hydrating Mist. I have this at home, but I didn't bring it with me. And it came in this cute little bag. I'm gonna show you what's in here. It's like a really fine mist and great for hydration throughout the day. So this is coming with me. Yesterday evening after dinner, they gave us these bags. And in here, I was just so thoughtful. So we've got a fan, which, oh my God, I'm so grateful for. Mmm, so nice. SPF, SPF 50. And apparently this can go over the top of your makeup if you want to touch up. So, and look how handy it is, like a little travel sized mini that you can just pop in your bag. Wow, that's so lightweight, you can barely feel it. Okay, I'll try this out throughout the day. They also put a mini deodorant in there and their lip protectant SPF stick. This is like a kind of lip balm stick. So cute, I love little details like this. Oh, I also have a code for whilst I'm away. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but I'll put it down in, I think it's, let me just check. it's Kate 20 and that gives you 20% off Elizabeth Arden. So yeah, by the end of the trip, I'll let you guys know my top three. Obviously the eight hour cream is in there. Um, but I'll let you guys know the other two if you want to shop. Oh, I'm in good time. I've got 20 minutes. Actually, no, I'm not in good time. My hair's not done. Let's go do my hair. Here is my outfit of the day. I've got this lovely little top on from Reformation. The shorts are from New Look. My Hermes curly belt. Hermes around shoes. Vintage Chanel bag. And I've curled my hair. Let me show you at the back. Rather worried. It's going to fall out as soon as we go outside. But we'll see. So this morning we're doing a Fiat 500 tour of Rome and look how cute these little vintage cars are. It's so small. Uh, I'm happy to go with you. Yeah, yeah, let's go together. I'm not, no. I'm sorry. You've not been to Rome either. We're yeah. going to be absolutely rubbish on the navigation. Yeah. Well, look, you're not doing the tour, so you're all right, Paula. No, but didn't you say you've got to do the walkie talkie? So, Kate, you've got yeah. to do the walkie talkie. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, you're, I don't have, have to navigate, do I? I'll have to lie. Yeah. Oh, small, a small second of attention. These are these. Uh, oh, God, can we walkie talkie to each other? Yeah, that's what he said. Oh, you were there. We are in this tiny car. Can you hear me? I've teamed up with Paula. Yeah. And. <laughs> ciao, ciao. <laughs> Tammy at the front of here. I'm on the walkie-talkie team. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, oh, wow. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> she looks very fashionable back there. Yeah, she does. Very <laughs> chic. <laughs> Jessie is so cute. She's so cute. 
so our first stop is the Coliseum. Um, one of the like, like, Yeah. And they build the biggest amphitheater in the world. Wow. The name, the original name is the Flavius Amphitheater. Crew, I know we're not moving very fast due to uh, traffic conditions. I know the sun is blazing hot, so don't hesitate to close your upper window if uh, in need. Also, when uh, we're in the movement, if you hold on to the uh, little roof like this, it'll catch the air and bring it all the way back inside of the vehicle. Look at Flo living her best life. <laughs> we are right outside the Colosseum and oh my goodness, it is insane. I don't think I like the history about it though. That makes me feel a bit uncomfortable about all the fighting and all of the animals, but it is quite incredible. Got the lovely Louise. Got all the photos for the Colosseum, now getting back in the car. Thank you, Tammy. No so I've just stopped off at this beautiful location. Everyone's getting loads of photos behind me. And um, yeah, but all slightly fine because it is absolutely boiling, but um, having such a nice time. So yeah, I think, what's my next stop? Because I think we've got a few more stops and then we've got lunch. So we're just arriving at lunch. We are heading to Pierre Luigi, which is apparently a famous restaurant here in Rome. Uh, so I'm very excited. We're all absolutely gasping for a pint of water with ice. So we've just got some starters. Um, I'm obviously going to go for the salad and not the meat. This looks absolutely incredible. I love it when they've got fruit in salads, like strawberries and stuff. So this is really nice. I'm excited to have this. Okay, just finished up lunch. And oh my goodness, guys, if you come to Rome, you have to come here. The food is amazing. Actually, last night's dinner was also really, really good. The girls have done so well choosing all the restaurants. Um, but yeah, Flo and I are now going to a cat sanctuary. Um, we're both big cat lovers and there's this like sanctuary where they rescue cats from all over the world and it, they're just kind of in this like ancient Roman ruin almost. And yeah, you can like, adopt the cats, you can stroke the cats. So I'm really excited to uh, visit and I'm so glad that Flo is a fellow cat lover so we can get together. So yeah, I'll take you guys along with us. This was such an incredible experience. So you just walk into this room full of rescue cats and Flo actually adopted this one last time she came to Rome. So she was super happy to see him. I really loved playing with this one. He had no eyes, but he was just so playful. He could really sense where your hands were and he was just so sweet. And even when he was like clawing and biting, he was doing it gently because he knew he was playing. This one was so sweet with his little head in my hands. You can just cuddle them all and they just seem to really enjoy it. I think this cat here though was my favorite. He was so big and fluffy and look at those paws. He wrapped his paw around my arm as if to say, please don't go. It was so lovely. I just wanted to take him home look at the little tongue back in the room now and oh my god the cat sanctuary was honestly something from my dreams it was so lovely and just had all of these cats in this room who are from all over the world like i mentioned and some of them have no eyes some of them have one eye some of them have two legs um and they just all seemed really happy and they were just so fun to play with so yeah, I would definitely recommend doing that if you are in Rome and also adopting a cat as well. You can adopt them um, from a distance and um, send money for like their veterinary treatments and their food and stuff like that. Anyway, I've just got into my bikini. This one is from Arabella London and it's kind of like meant to fit like a bra and it definitely does. The fit is just amazing, um, really flattering, great quality. I just feel like it looks so chic. It gives it like that vintage vibes of like the bust. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go to the rooftop now to sunbathe and probably have a drink. Guys, <laughs> look at my hair. This is what happens when you sunbathe with it in a bun. It's, it actually looks all right on camera, but in real life it's just so kinked. So I'm probably gonna have to sleek it back in a bun tonight. I am ready for dinner. I've just done a little tutorial on how I've done this hair. Um, so I'll upload that onto short so you guys can see. This is my outfit. This dress is from New Look. I don't know if they still have it in the white, but they had it in black last time I checked. So I'll link it down below. But yeah, I just think it's so cute. And do you know what? For the price, the quality is amazing. It's double lined. 
and it doesn't crease which is so so nice you don't have to worry about ironing it i would happily pay a lot more money for this dress i think it's gorgeous so i think of new look i obviously work with them and i've worked with them for years sometimes it's hit and miss but i find when you hit you really hit with them and i absolutely adore this so so yeah now we're going to go pasta making i'm so excited i've never made pasta before um and then we get to eat the pasta which is even better <laughs> yesterday i had this other dress but i don't know i put it on i just didn't feel that great and yesterday it felt so good in this one um the back isn't done up because i can't quite reach it maybe i can oh she's done it yes yeah, so i'm kind of just repeating this look but that doesn't matter i absolutely love this i i mean i know i said it yesterday but i really feel like it's so it looks so much more expensive than it is um but yeah i'm ready to go i think we're gonna have some lunch and then head to the airport so i'm really sad to be leaving i had the best time with this lovely group of women they're just so everyone on the trip was so lovely and we're all quite different which i think is even better by the way guys the pasta making yesterday was so much fun they just 
like it was like a whole show these guys were brilliant they had such fun music blasting like every time the energy was low they would like blast a new song and i think the whole process of that thing took two hours and then we ate after so it was quite like a long evening but it didn't feel like two hours at all um so if you're in Italy or in, sorry, in Rome with a group of friends, I could not recommend it high enough. It was amazing. Like that'd be so good for a hen group or something. I've also just got the details of the cushions, the pillows, because these are, apart from the Dorchester pillows, the most comfortable squishy pillows ever. So I'm gonna buy a couple for home. And yeah, the brand is literally just Soho Home. So I'm gonna buy a couple of these. Um, oh, I also have to show you in the bathroom, Here's the shower. Look at the amount of products that they give you. And like, so there's a calming shower gel, uplifting, invigorating, a boost shampoo, soften shampoo, and then you've got the conditioner, the scrubs. It's just very extra. Oh, sorry, my camera went a bit funny then I think. But yeah, how amazing is that? I'm now home as you can tell by my background I honestly think that trip was in my top three if not actually my favorite influencer trip I've ever done it was just such a lovely group of women I love the PR team at Elizabeth Arden and they just the detail they went into was next level and I really wish I had more of like the interactions between all the girls on camera but I feel like we were just having so many conversations and we were all like one big open book getting to know each other on, on such like a deep level and i guess the kind of things that you wouldn't really put on camera but they were just so lovely i got on with every single one of the girls so well and sometimes i really struggle in group situations i'm better i'm a lot better with one-on-one -on -one interactions but i felt so comfortable and i just feel like we all left on such a high note so i'm so happy i went and now as promised i said i'd go through some of the new elizabeth arden products that i tried and which ones i liked and like my review so the winner as i mentioned before is this little pot of eight hour cream skin protectant nighttime miracle moisturizer so this almost feels like a bit of a night mask and you put it on you rub it between your hands and get it nice and soft and then put it all over your face and you wake up with such plump soft baby like skin and it feels like it's really sunken in but you still have that slight kind of like tackiness on your skin if you have dry skin or skin that needs a bit of plumping this is just amazing i would highly recommend it and you can still get 20 percent off with my code k20 this isn't an ad or anything like that but um i thought it was worth mentioning and then this little guy here so i was a bit apprehensive because i thought if you put this over makeup it's just going to slide the makeup off but it doesn't it's very lightweight so this is the spf 50 and it's just great for top up so you can put it in your handbag and just like you know put it on your nose don't know about you guys but i always get a little bit burnt here because i sweat off the spf as the day goes on so you can just pop it up here you can also pop it in your hairline if you tend to get burnt and last but not least the mist so i already had this and i used this as like a setting spray before or just as like a refresher throughout the day if i was working from home but i've never used it in a hot country and it's a game changer if you have this with a handheld fan or just any kind of fan and you spritz this and then fan yourself it feels just so cooling and lovely and so refreshing as well um so i popped this in my bag the whole trip and i was just spritzing myself oh actually i've got one more as well that i want to show you guys either i have some kind of lid stealer or i just managed to lose every single lid that i own because i can never find the lids to anything but this was also another favorite um this is the all over miracle oil and what i love about this oh, you can use it on your on your hair as well i didn't know that my camera just died sorry about that yeah what i love about this is you spray it all over and it doesn't feel oily or greasy and it doesn't feel like your hair sticks to it and your clothes stick to it which is often the problem and it just gives you the most beautiful natural glow and of course it's an oil as well so super hydrating i also really love how it absorbs 
into the skin so well and doesn't leave it doesn't like stick onto the surface basically so yeah these four are my new holy grails and i'm not just saying that because i've been on this wonderful trip they genuinely are amazing products so yeah i'm gonna end this video here i really hope you enjoyed this vlog i know it was a bit of like a random mix mash of hospital appointments going to rome there's a lot in this vlog but i hope you enjoyed it i love you all so so much and i'll see you in my next video bye Mwah.